Hey guys, Sci-Fi here. Uh, the version 2.0 boards for Autococker came in the mail this afternoon. And I haven't released a lot of details on what's changed because I wanted to get them in my hands and test it and make sure everything worked before I talked about it. Um, two big differences, otherwise it's the same board. The first difference you'll notice, the screen is hard mounted to the board. So... If your OLED screen burns out, you can just pop it off and order a new one off eBay and put the new one back in there, just like that. Second big difference, you'll notice that there's a little shield area over the optical sensor. And that's because the optical sensor also will unplug like that. And you can plug in the micro switch. So that was something that I've been really wanting to do for a long time. And I'm still trying to figure out the best way to make all this work. Um, it kind of half works right now. The optical or the, uh, the micro switch works perfectly but the optical switch sits a little bit too low to the circuit board to register a trigger pull real well. So I'm looking at some different components, some different optical sensors, um, some other ideas I've had, and I'm going to try to figure out a way where I can just unplug the optical sensor like that. But I did want to make it as... Uh, I wanted to be able to test as many things as possible, I guess. So... I tightened up the holes that the optical sensor plugs into on the board and you can actually plug in just a regular optical sensor just where it used to be on the board and I've noticed you can just kind of bend the prongs open and you don't really even need to solder it down. Although I've noticed that when you take it in and put it out, pull it out, um, and replace it and put it back in, it does get a little bit sloppy and maybe the trigger pulls don't register as nicely as they did the first time you used it. Um, it can still be soldered down also, but I just wanted to try to come up with a way where we could pull the optical switch out and plug the micro switch in without any big hassle. Um, so those are all the board changes. Uh, there is going to be a little bit of software change on the version 2.3 of the software. When you update your board and you update your app, you're going to get some new firing modes. Um, always had, oops, always had a user percent ramping. That was the only custom ramping mode I had on the original boards up till now. Um, when you choose user percent ramping, what's going to happen now is a new button comes up down here and that gives you all of your ramping um, parameters that you can change. And then if you go past user percent ramping, you have one called God Mode, which is new. And that's going to not be your percent ramping, but it's going to be your burst style ramping. And now you can customize that 100%. You should be able to make your uh, ramping legal for any tournament rule changes that are to come. Um, and then there's one more for Scott Dining, who wanted five shot burst. So again, the new button down here at the bottom, and you can change your burst mode from two shot burst to five shot burst. And that also, all of those things are just going to be on the software update for the board. And that's it. So hopefully that answers everybody's questions.